determine the moment acting on the simply supported two way slab, table 3.13 may be referred. This table gives you the factor of alpha SS and alpha SY, which these factors can be substituted into the equations in order for you to compute the moment at the shorter span and the moment at the longer span. The ratio LY per LX is referring to the longer span of the slab divided with its shorter span. These factors are obtained based on the LY per LX ratio. If the LY per LX ratio obtained is not a round number, interpolations may be acquired from the two closest numbers. Bear in mind that this table is meant for simply supported slab with all four sides. As for the restraint slab, you may refer to table 3.14 and 3.15. There will be factors for you to acquire and these factors are to be substituted into the equations for you to compute the moment at the shorter span and the longer span. This is a typical table 3.14 in BS. And this section is referring to the longer span and this section is referring to the shorter span. There are LY per LX and the factors are obtained based on the LY per LX ratio. The descriptions of the slabs are given here, which include the internal inferior panel, one short edge discontinuous, one long edge discontinuous, and so on. This refers to different conditions of the slab. For example, this represents all four edge continuous and this represents the two adjacent edge discontinuous and this represents three edge discontinuous with one long edge continuous. You may refer to this slide for you to determine which type of the case for the slab. Also, it is stated there are negative moment at continuous edge and positive moment at the mid-span. This represents the negative moment at the continuous edge and this represents the positive moment at the mid-span. This diagram represents the interior panel and this diagram represents the all four edge discontinuous and the rest of this is represented by this diagram. The shear coefficients can be obtained from table 3.15. The coefficients are acquired for you to substitute into these equations for you to calculate the share acting on the slab. The description here, you may refer to this slide. As for the continuous and discontinuous edge, it means that whether they are adjacent edge or without adjacent edge beside it.